A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 1st April. On the front page you have MiG-27 crashes. Pilot ejects to safety. So this is MiG-27 UPG fighter aircraft of the Air Force which crashed in Jodhpur. The pilot has ejected safely and he reported the engine problems before ejecting. Now a court of inquiry has been ordered to investigate the cause of the accident. Then here you have Release list of convicted officials, CIC orders customs department. So the Central Information Commission under the RTI Act, it has ordered customs department to release list of convicted officials. So uh, uh, this list should be made public. So those officers who have been caught red-handed smuggling gold and heroin and for other illegal activities, the list should be brought in the open. Because, so this came in response to an RTI request to the Chief Information Commissioner of Customs in Amritsar. It was asked that he should give information on officers caught, convicted or jailed for smuggling over the last 10 years. But then the Central Public Information Officer responded by saying that the data requested pertained to personal information of employees and hence could not be provided. So the case went up to the Central Information Commission and now through it, it has the Customs Department has been directed to release the data. Another response it also said in appeal that no such list of convicted officials was maintained by the department. But now it has to prepare and release as per CIC orders. On page 6 you have culling begins after bird flu outbreak in Katak. So huge quantities of chicken, eggs have also been destroyed along with birds in Katak in Orisha because of the incident of bird flu here. So the city, the out here you can see the duck breeding center on the outskirts of the city the samples were collected from here and they tested positive for the deadly strain of avian influenza bird flu that is h5n1 virus so it spreads from bird to bird and can affect humans as well so the mass culling drive has been started and will continue for some more days then on page 7 you have supreme court suspends eco clearance for in the national airport in goa so, uh, here now the Supreme Court has said that health of the environment is key to preserving the right to life and that's why in its recent judgment it has suspended the environmental clearance granted for an international airport at Mopa in Goa. And this is regarding the MiG-27 crash in Jodhpur which we saw on the front page too. On the editorial page, the first editorial is Kartarpur Focus. So this says security concerns are high priority, but blocking work on the corridor is not right. So India has raised security concerns and has halted talks on Kartarpur with Pakistan. So this is a setback. The editorial talks of that. And this is murky swamp. So this is regarding the midnight maneuvers in post Parikar Goa raises disturbing questions. So this is regarding the political development as such in Goa post the chief minister's death because with the one seat lost to the, the party in power, BJP as such, it becomes, uh, loses its majority. So this is regarding the politics played here. The lead article Seeking the next frontier. So this is regarding India's ASET test. It says it has not violated any norms, but it is a reminder of the need for global regulatory regime on space too. And the article below says the arrogance of the ignorant. So it is said it is tragic that new India chooses to attack Adivasis and forest dwellers instead of those destroying its ecology. Then on the opet page you have the dark side of grand narratives. So this talks of how when national greatness is being sought, the cost which is imposed on the weak in the periphery. So people have to sacrifice. But the sacrifice which is sought from the weak, so, you know, in, in, in the interest of the nation, if things are being done in the interest of the nation, the weak are marginalized. The weak are sent in the periphery. Because what should be at the central focus is the development and the betterment of the downtrodden section of the society but that is neglected in the, those cases in such a scenario then on page 10 you have the prime minister saying seized 14,000 crore assets of an offender so without naming the absconding liquor baron Vijay Malia prime minister Narendra Modi said 
that the government has seized 14,000 crore worth of assets of a man who committed 9,000 crore fraud and left the country. So Mr. Malia soon tweeted asking why the BJP leaders were still targeting him though the highest authorities has confirmed full recovery of his dues and more. So this is the coverage. On international page you have Saudis hacked Bezos phone. So these are security consultant official who says that uh, Saudis had access to Amazon CEO's uh, that is Jeff Bezos phone and they gained private information from it. And here you have North Korea says embassy raid was a terror attack. So this is in North Korea, an anti-Kim group. It is said raided the embassy and it is called as a terror attack. Then this is Arab leaders condemn US move on Golan. So the Golan Heights which actually belongs to Syria and has been captured by Israel was declared by USA to be belonging to Israel. So, Israel has sovereignty over it, which has been condemned by the Arab leaders now. Then this is Xi power in Europe. So, this is regarding women heads of state in the continent in the context that Slovak has, selected, has elected first woman president. So, this is important. Then, here you have Asian origin gang funded Al-Qaeda through tax fraud. So, 80 million pounds tax fraud funnel was funneled out as part of a scam. And here you have date fixed to execute drug offenders. So, Sri Lanka has decided to bring back that penalty and uh, it has convicted at least 25 people for drug trafficking and they would be, they have been sentenced to death. Then on page 13 you have business review. Here this is regarding non-banking finance companies. So, this shows uh, how the shares of NBFCs in corporate bonds in commercial papers how they have been declining following the ILNFS uh, crisis. And this is regarding share of NBFCs in incremental bank credit. That also you can see nosedive because of the crisis and interest rates. Interest rates are also going high now. Then this is Fine. Then there is no news on the last page. So these are the important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for today. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website asia.com in the current affairs section here. You can uh, you can actually look at the everyday's daily PDFs here too. Plus also the current affairs, this is for the month of March. Also, you can uh, download the daily PDFs. The monthly compilation will also soon be uploaded. And also, you can enroll for a current affairs course, which is a detailed video lecture course, an online course. So, you can see so the details of that is provided here. So, that is it. Thank you.